Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen the basics, the concept of the prompt. So here I want to show you some more important concept in the prompts. In the previous video, we have seen about how to prepare the chicken biryani. So here I have searched for the chicken biryani and it has given some explanation about the chicken biryani. And I am try I am asking that please give me the recipe. It has given me uh, the, with the ingredients and all those things with uh, the recipe it has given. And I told I told it I need a shopping list with all the ingredients and it has prepared the ingredients thing. Fine. So as I already told you, right, it is a context aware. So here what we can do it is I want to show you one important thing. For example, let's say that I want to get the recipe without ingredients. So what can I do is here I can simply edit this one and I can write without ingredients. Okay. Now if I type if I type here and if save and submit automatically here the context has been divided into two two by two so the first one is with ingredients and the second one is without ingredients now it is trying to search for this one all so let it let it let it write it so then afterwards it will so i am using chart gpt4 it will take some time i told you right speed is a little bit slow in the chart gpt4 whereas in the chart gpt 3.5 it will be fast almost everything will be the one in the same only it's not a problem so here we are having two two versions like two by two version and also the one by two version one by two version means the previous searches what we have did it and now if you try to observe so this has started with a new chart so the previously we used to have another chart that is nothing but i want to get all the shopping list with all ingredients i have researched it so that one has been gone so here we are having a new chart and if you click on this one so the previous one chart which we are trying to continue the context has been divided into two so this might look little bit of uh, confusing confusing for the re re new users but here we are having two contexts for the same issue or the not the, the same topic we are having two contexts for example let's say that we are on the second one right so here i will write uh, what is the capital so i am completely switching to a different concept with uh, i am not searching about the chicken biryani so here what is the capital of india so i am trying to search for the what is the capital of india so here it is giving the capital of India is New Delhi. So here it is giving you some details. Okay. So now what I will try to do is. So tell me three things. Three things that I can have or visit or something that I can. Tell me three things that I can see. Or something like this. So here the continuation is with the Delhi. So here it is telling. So the three things which you can visit, uh, which you can visit in the Delhi is so these are the things it is trying to say. So that means it is in the context. So where it is in the context? So here. Now the same thing. Tell me three things that I can see. So I will try to search it in the first scenario, first context. So the same thing I will try to search it here. Tell me three things that I can visit or anything I can visit or anything. So now here. Certainly, you will provide. So here it is telling Grand Canyon, USA. So completely, it is out of the context. So previously, what I was trying to search, so that is in the uh, what I can say, it is in the context of Delhi. Whereas this one is not in the context of Delhi. So that means we are having two different contexts. So might be it will be a little bit of confusing, but overall it is uh, easy to understand. So here we are having two different types of. Uh, context so where you can see it here one by one and one by two and this one is the context which we are right now in the Delhi and the same situation when we are trying to search it here this is completely different so this is one thing you want to understand you need to understand about this one in the chart GPT so this one I want to explain you and another thing which I want to explain you is the uh, another thing is for example let's say that we are trying to learn about the uh, react context or anything so which we have learned it previously so if i want to search for anything something like a react context article okay article so just we'll try to have an article and here we are having some article let's open this article and let's try to copy this entire article okay or otherwise i want to copy this one so here i want to tell that uh, <clears throat> So here I can uh, I can I can ask the question here so something like about this one so let's let's wait let's uh, let's try to write uh, type it here so here we can ask something like let's summarize this article 
okay so i am asking the, let's summarize this article article okay i will paste this one and let's see so what you should try to summarize so here you need to understand one thing chart gpt4 it is doing such with the bing whereas in the chart gpt 3.5 so here you will not able to have an access to the internet and here it will be providing you this about the summarizing of this one normally you need to understand that chart gpt doesn't have an access to the internet okay so it is trying to get the data that it is has in your, uh, that has in the data model it is present large and large data sets will be available in the 2021 year below so it will try to uh, give you the article as if it has read the website or web page so it doesn't read the web page so it will give you something like a fake or something like this so this is also one of the important thing you should you need to understand so you don't uh, don't uh, underestimate that so if you are giving a an url it is the chat gpt is trying to read that article it is not trying so it will try to understand the brief concept of this article and it uh, and it will give you a basic thing here and if you are detailed information it is telling that to go to the log rocket so this is one thing it is trying to do whereas the same thing if you try to see here in the chat gpt3 5 also it will give you the same op, same thing so let's summarize this article and let's press enter and here apple i am, I am unable to access the external website or urls including the one so here it doesn't have any access in the here also it doesn't have access to the internet very limited internet it is having access and that is the reason it is able to we are able to see this one so this is also one important thing which you need to consider the important thing which i want to explain you before closing out this video so one thing is for example let's say that we have a large article let's try to type large article okay so if i am trying to give a big article something like this and here we are having some article right let's copy this entire thing okay oh so this one we are having okay let's copy this one and here okay translate translate this article to german french spanish anything let's let's see so here we will type the translation thing and we'll try to uh, copy some more article we don't have enough article here so much of images are there sorry and from here to here we will copy again and we will paste some big article i want to paste some big article okay let's try to search it so now here it is trying to convert this one to the german and french so let's see that what will happen so now summary so here it is trying to do something else so let's try to show you some another one let's try to copy this entire thing okay so here uh, so here we'll copy this one enter thing up to here we'll, i will copy and uh, summer uh, translate 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 this to german and french we'll try to type it actually it will give you german okay and here if i try to press it so you will see whether it can able to translate short of this summary in english so it is trying to summarize what is happening here or otherwise you'll go to a new chart so translate this article to german french okay and i will search it for this one yeah here let's see whether what will happen so it will try to uh, give you that to translate this word it will divide the section small sections accuracy so it is trying to translate it so english it is trying to do it so let it do <coughs> so chart gpt4 is taking some time we'll go to chart gpt 3.5 and i will try to do translate this article to german french okay i will try to do it and here we can have the article and paste it so now you will be able to see so it is trying to translate it so here it is trying to translate the entire article into german so let it translate it now if you are trying to see it is have a data limit token so now when it goes to it is going on doing generating like this and it will stop in the middle of this one so output will stop here it has stopped here in the middle 
Why? Because it has a data limit tokening. So we don't have any settings to increase the token limit. Just what we can do is, so just we can type continue here so that from where it has the output has been stopped, it will continue from there. So this is a nice good feature and also the important concept that you want to remember whenever you are having a bigger output. So you can uh, do this one. So this is also one of the important thing you need to understand about this in the prompt. So that's it guys about the concept which we have discussed it. So we have learned the different ways, the context thing, how it will be available. And also we have seen about the article, how it will try to hallucinate us. So when you are trying to give the URL and also here when you are trying to have a big, big input. So how it will be generated because in a two different sections because of the data limiting thing. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the con uh, comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.